the Guards Chapel in London is the Army's central church, steeped in military history and with representatives of the Regiment of Foot Guards on duty every Sunday, religiously. Preaching here completes the circle for Padre Matt Coles, who first visited this sanctuary to explore whether a mission to soldiers, wherever they find themselves, would be right for him and for his family. He knew it would be a shift from calm Sunday best to combat fatigue and stress. Selection course, interviews and the rigours of ten weeks at Sandhurst are now behind him and Matt's a year into his army commission with the Coldstream Guards in Windsor. I think I really struggled coming back from Sandhurst with uh, everything had gone very green and very, very much soldier focused and to really fight back to get onto the, 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 the priestly side again to get the pendulum swinging back through to a place where I'd like it to be. So to that end, I've been doing a lot of reading, thinking about Padre's roles, different ways to influence the battalion, and it's a real privilege to be able to serve them. Some of the opinions are, are not ones that I would like or ones that I share. Uh, I've been told that I'm like an officer without a portfolio, that I believe in imaginary uh, friends, and those are all genuine comments that have come through. They're very, very rare, they really. That's just a worst-case example. Otherwise, they're really on board, really excited to have me walk alongside them, and they're very uh, willing to share their lives with me. They're very open very quickly. On your commanding officer's designate course, they explain to you that your padre will be someone who's much older than you, uh, someone who's a bit like a, uh, an uncle figure, who you can, uh, who you can have a, uh, has sort of a chat with uh, sort of in confidence. And then I got Matt, uh, who is uh, probably the youngest padre I've, uh, I've ever worked with, um, but is proving to be absolutely fantastic and a key member of my team. The Chaplain General, along with his counterparts in the Navy and the Royal Air Force, have been crying out for Padre's positions to be filled because there's been a shortage in operationally deployable people. Matt's boss knows the value of a spiritual compass on the front line. A Padre is, is absolutely essential for, for any operational tour. You need someone uh, across the chain of command who you know, a young guardsman can talk to in, in confidence, uh, the same way as a commanding officer. And certainly for our last tour of Afghanistan, uh, the Padre was the most called upon person uh, on a regular basis to deploy uh, from patrol base to patrol base. Stand by, get him up. Stand by, wait. Making sure he's in the right physical frame for an eventual deployment is something Padre Coles takes seriously too. But it's more than that. Keep going, Padre. It's an opportunity to identify with the infantryman he seeks to influence. The operational fitness test is something that I've done voluntarily. I don't need to do it. That's just an infantier test before people deploy to theatre. So for me, it's a chance to walk 24 miles in their boots uh, and walk alongside them as they're going through what is a pretty grim time. It's very boring. But it gives me credibility in their eyes and hopefully then when I get a chance to talk about bigger things like Jesus, then they've got one more ear open to me than they previously may have had. Life is certainly moving at military tempo. Matt's running courses, preaching here and there, considering the options for his next posting, and he's an expectant father. It seems a long way from the vicarage. Well, it's almost a, a parallel universe. It, you can't really compare the two. And it's something that since 2004, I felt God's been calling me into. So I know I'm doing the job that he's asked me to do at the moment. And that could change next year and things will, may well change. But at the moment, right now, I feel that God's called me to be here and he equips me to be here. So even though it might be seemingly terrible, whether it's physically hard work or emotionally hard work or pastorally start to fill a pinch, I know that I'm, I'm OK in what I'm doing just because I'm doing it in God's power, not my own. And his journey has already proved inspirational to others. Matt's meeting newcomers to military ministry who've seen his progress and been moved to consider a new calling for themselves. Julie Knox, Forces News.